We first introduced you to a Spanish Fort cancer survivor last week who was battling COVID-19 for a second time within nine months. Well, today she's negative for the virus and credits her infusion treatments for the quick recovery. WKRG.com mobile journalist Blake Brown is joining us live. So what is in these infusions, Blake? Yeah, great question, Cherish. Well, first of all, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, released this, quote, emergency use authorization for this treatment just back in November. It's basically through an IV, and that's where antibodies are pumped into your system, basically to help you recover a lot faster. Now, last week, we introduced you to a Spanish Fort cancer survivor named Jennifer Pratchner. She first tested positive for COVID-19 back in March of last year, and then nine months later, she tested positive for the virus again in December. She experienced symptoms both times, and due to her condition, she was able to receive this infusion treatment. It's about a four-hour process, and within a couple of days, she says she was feeling a lot better. Now, just this week, she tested negative for COVID-19. Like you mentioned, that was yesterday. One of our producers here at WKRG News 5 also received this same treatment just two days after he was admitted to the hospital with the virus. He says the same thing. This infusion treatment saved his life and improved his condition quickly. He also said as within 24 hours, there was a significant change in how he felt. Now, coming up tonight on WKRG News 5 at 6 o'clock, you'll hear from both of them, and they will detail their experience a little further for you. Live in Baldwin County, I'm Blake Brown, WKRG News 5. Blake, I remember after seeing your story with Jennifer the first time, while you were doing your story, I said, oh my gosh, you know, poor thing, she's doing this a second time around, but you said she's feeling better now, and after that treatment, she started feeling better pretty quickly. Is that typically the case? Absolutely. So what I've, I've been able to research on this, it's like she, I mentioned, it's about a four hour process, but typically within two days, two to three days, you will start feeling a lot better. And again, this all depends on uh, each patient. So some could start feeling uh, those effects a lot sooner. Some could start feeling those uh, a little bit later on. And I know we've probably talked about this before, but I want to ask you again, just what is the criteria to receive this treatment? Yeah, so you have to be at least 12 years of age or older. Uh, you also want to uh, make sure that this is a severe case of the virus. So this is only for those who uh, have underlying conditions. And again, those who are really uh, having a tough time with this virus. And you should also always uh, check with your doctor first. Make sure this is something that is right for you. Yeah, it's good to have this. Thank you, Blake.